I grew up in Gainesville, Florida. My parents, uh, my mother is from, she's from Georgia, and my dad is from Alabama. And um, my mom, she was pretty much a stay-at-home mom, took care of us and cooked every single day, every day. My dad, he owned some trucks and he uh, ran them in the watermelon field. So um, I participated in that coming up too. So yeah, well, my mom cooked dressing. Uh, I loved her potato salad. She made the best fried chicken ever. Uh, she did, we did grits all the time, fish and grits and stuff like that. She, anything you name, my mom made it. And like I said, she cooked every day. So we had a hearty meal every day. You know, at first it was just kind of waiting around the lick a bowl here and there. And, and then after a while, she let me get more involved. And you know, it's like mix that and that together and that type of stuff. And before long, I was preparing dishes by myself, just asking her, hey mom, this doesn't taste right, what should I do? And still to this day, that's, I call mom all the time like, hey. She's in St. Petersburg, Florida, My basically my whole family. Okay, I love my mom's stewed tomatoes and my favorite dessert was her banana pudding. So my favorite meal would be uh, cube steaks. Oh my God, I used to love when she made cube steaks, stewed tomatoes and rice. We ate a lot of rice. Probably why I don't like rice so much today. <laughs> but we ate rice with every meal, corn and rice or whatever, but we ate rice. I didn't choose Appleton, Appleton chose me. <laughs> My husband, he got transferred up here. Like I said, I never heard of Appleton. And, um, but once I got settled in, I really started to like Appleton. I love Appleton, so aside from the weather, <laughs> it's a great place to live. Um, my husband, he was working for Circuit City uh, and when we were in Tennessee. And so he transferred his job to Milwaukee. And then once uh, he kept getting promoted and they wanted him to be a manager in the Appleton store. So we got transferred up here from Milwaukee. Well, for me, from growing up in Gainesville, you know, it was, it was mixed and, you know, I was just used to just being really diverse. And then when I moved to Milwaukee, it was like really segregated. You got like all of this race on this side of town, all of that one. And then when I came to Appleton, I'm like, oh my God, where am I? <laughs> Cause you know, because it was like, I didn't hardly see anybody that looked like me, so. But everyone was nice and everything, and you know, I just settled in, and and I've been watching it grow ever since. I'm the type of person I get ideas, and excuse me, if it sounds like a good idea, and my husband agrees, I kind of go for it. So I say we opened in July 2012, so probably a few months before that, it was like, hey. What if we open a restaurant? <laughs> and he's like, eh, it's not a bad idea. And so we went for it. In all honesty, it wasn't that difficult. Um, everybody was, for one, excited about the idea and like more than willing to help and give me pointers. So like the health department, the fire department, all the departments were really just you know, helpful from day one when, you know, I brought everybody over and I told them what I wanted to do and they told me the best way to do everything. So my process actually went smooth. It's all in the seasoning and spices for the most part with a lot of the foods. I have my cozy seasoning, which is, was pretty much my mom mixture of seasonings when I add my own spin to it and um, I use it in 
most all my dishes and it's amazing how that same seasoning can taste so different and everything. What I get from the customers a lot is they say it feels like home and it feels, you know, homey in here. That's kind of what I was going after. I wanted people to feel comfortable and it be like what I was used to, you know, like this is how home was for me. So it's nothing for us to come to the table and sit with you and just conversate. You might have to ask us to leave, like, <laughs> but that's just, that's just me. Hopefully in a positive way um, for for women, I hope it's showing them that, you know, we can do it, you know. We have a, I come from a family of eight, okay, and it was four boys and four girls, and every last one of my brothers and sisters can cook. I mean, it's just a given, and we had big Sunday dinners and stuff, and we did crab boils in the backyard, and you know, that's what we did when we got together. Everybody's making a dish, we're cooking, we're eating, and we're just having a great time together. So it's like, I guess I came back to <laughs> what, I didn't know this was what I was supposed to be doing, but I came full circle, I guess you can say, so.